Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting back again. Today I'm coming to share with you my first collaboration. Uh, sorry for my voice, uh, I don't feel well last last few days. Uh, I, uh, I kind of signed up for my first collaboration ever and I already screw up and I'm really very sorry for that. I a little bit messed up with the dates. My video for this collaboration supposed to be posted uh, at Saturday. I forgot to check out this uh, list. I didn't receive properly notifications. It's just because my computer doesn't work really well with, with Facebook. I'm going a little bit late with my project for this collaboration, but I would like to to you to have a look on all these channels. Uh, this is collaboration hosted by Rachel. Rachel is owner uh, of YouTube channel Ratch and Bella Craft. And here are the names who are going to be uh, making projects for this collaboration. And uh, this uh, should help to new channels new artists in our family to get more views and to, met, to get a bigger audience. So please go to have a look. I will put down a uh, below link for uh, Rachel's channel just to make sure you know where to go for all information. <laughs> I'm going to quickly show you what I have created. Uh, and I also have for you a tutorial for the base for this, uh, for this journal. Uh, how you can make the base. I didn't film how I am uh, decorating the base with the pages, but you can you can imagine that to just the glue pages on the base. So uh, we have been provided with digital kit in boho style. I found myself that I'm not too good with boho style uh, with so many colors. So I chose. Uh, blue line of of the papers which were provi provided to us. So I'm gonna open my little uh, little journal. This is, by the way, kind of inspired by those uh, crossbody bags which should have here on the bottom those tassels. <coughs> so I think I'm gonna just be quiet and quickly show you what you can what you can expect as a as a base, those papers have been provided by Rachel as well. So this is the cover. <coughs> and we do have there this little journal. It is uh, made from file folders. And there is so many openings and I really love uh, the cascade of these pages. So, and it's very easy. It's very easy. And there is so many pockets.
So this is what I have created. Uh, I know this needs to get a little bit uh, some kind of tuning to make it uh, the way where it can be called boho. Uh, I found myself that I'm not too too much into that uh, too blinky uh, too blinky style. It's just something that I don't know how to do. <laughs> so I hope this this. Uh, this creation, it's good enough to call kind of on the way to boho style. I have to say I did enjoy very, very much to create with these beautiful papers. They do have gorgeous colors and I'm so happy I did join this collaboration. You will see there are so many beautiful projects and there is so many names I already know. So I can't wait to see their projects for this collaboration. And as I said, I'm very sorry for the lie with my project. Uh, now, the tutorial will come, and as you will see, it's really easy to follow. Uh, I hope you will enjoy it and you will have a fun. For creating this beautiful file folder journal, you will need to take four pages. You will need to take four of file folders. I'm going to be using two file, fold, that, two file folders with this middle tab and two file folders with this side tab. These you can cut straight away in the size 7 inches. So move it on 7 and cut it. Keep this for your tabs. The file folder with this middle tab, if you want to keep that middle tab in the middle, you need to cut this file folder is uh, 11 and 1 quarter, 11 and 5 eighths of inch uh, long. So you will need to cut it two and what is it? Uh, if you want to have the sides equally, so between two and one quarter and two and three eighths. And cut. And again from that opposite side, again, flip it and move it between two and one quarter and two and three eighths just between them and you will get seven inches in length so with this cutting you will have base seven inches here so once you do have your file folders cut it in the size you just need to start to fold them and that folding is really easy you're gonna grab the side which is shorter and you're gonna fold this longer part to the middle like this take your bone folder and burnish to make that fold nice and crisp flip it over and now this one you're gonna fold exactly match this fold here And burnish. With that, you do have beautiful cascade of pages. You're gonna grab next one and do exactly the same again with that longer side on the shorter side of your file folder, longer, longer uh, side of that cut. Just fold it to the middle. And that opposite side match the fold you just created. Same is with this in the middle tab uh, folders. You're gonna get up this shorter side and fold these longer edges to the middle. Flip it over and then match fold you gonna create now with the fold you created before. So you do have your 
tap pages done. Now, if you don't like these sharp corners, just grab your paper punch and punch these corners. I'm going to be using this middle corner punch. And punch all these corners. From the leftovers, you can create your extra tabs. So measure your foldings. And then decide how long tap you want to have. I would like to have here about four and a half tap plus half inch for gluing on the base, which means five inches. So I'm going to grab my guillotine. Cut five inches long piece from one side. Cut five inches long piece from opposite side. This I can use in the middle, sew it in there in folds. So this one can be sewn maybe here and create another steps and these I'm gonna cut this corner take my scoring board and on that five inches it's here I'm gonna score half inch here and that I will use for gluing this piece somewhere in my miniature room maybe like this so I'm creating kind of like cascade same with this one where there is this decorative edge I'm gonna punch uh, the corner on that opposite side this is five inch side and again I'm gonna score half inch which I will use to glue it in my base somewhere maybe here and create these steps for creating cover for your uh, journal you're gonna cut uh, you go, I'm gonna be using the file folder with this middle tab and I'm gonna cut I'm gonna tell you three and one eight three and one eight from each side let me tell you three and one quarter and just make sure yes three and one quarter from each side like this so I do have a base I'm gonna place this base for cover on my scoring board and I'm gonna score so the the tap is on the zero. My first score line is on four, four and one quarter, four and half, four and three quarter, and five. Then I need to move this last score line on the zero. And I'm gonna score here seven and a half, seven and three quarter, eight, eight and one quarter, and one more, eight and a half. I nearly forgot. So this will be back, back side of my cover. Here, these will be kind of like front, uh, top and bottom spine. And now, how to put all these together? So, I do have two file folders with these tabs up. I would like to have 
one file folder with the tab on the bottom. If I will flip it this way, I will don't see this, this cascade from here and I would like to see it there actually. So I'm just gonna fold everything the opposite way, like this, and then I do have it. You have one on the top, one on the bottom. I would like to have one middle tap as a first and then one middle tap as a last. Like this. And all that between. Here these are going to be added to my journal here and there. So these I'm gonna sew in maybe right here. I think on this one where is short page. Yeah, I'm gonna be sewing there one of these. These tabs I can use here to create cascade. One here. One here. And I do have one more of these. So first is here. Second with this short is here. So I'm gonna place it in there. And I do have two more of these five inches long so one gonna be here and another gonna be here and I'm gonna quickly show you how you can put all these together so you're gonna take your small tap put the glue on this hinge or on this fold and place it on the spot you wanna see it Maybe right here, so you can see the cascade. Then you're gonna take your second. This gonna be sewn here, and this one. Oops. Again, put there a glue and glue it where you would like to see it, right here. So then it's making the cascade here. I'm gonna sew this. So just choose the fold where you wanna sew it. And sew it in there. I'm gonna do same here. I'm gonna glue this. Right here. And so on this one. Here on the bottom where I will see that cascade later on. This cascade. So I'm gonna place it here. Poke the holes. And with just with easy sewing, sew it together. And with the last one, I do have here this tab. So I'm just gonna put the glue in there. Place it right here. And glue it. Now put these together, it's quite easy. You will just glue them side by side with the front to the back of that previous one and you will just put them together like this. So you're gonna put a glue. Oh, first you need to glue these <laughs> middle folds and create top loaded pocket. By that you're gonna lift up one side. You know, this is top of my signal 
signature page. This is top, this is bottom. So I'm gonna just lift it up, put the glue here, and here, and place it down. Then put the glue here on these three sides, here, here, and here. Grab that next, like backwards, and I'm gonna place it there, match these ends here, like this, and glue it together. I'm gonna lift up this one, as you know, we didn't put glue here yet, so again, put the glue here, and here we are creating that middle top loaded pocket. And now I want to glue there this one. So I'm gonna put the glue here on these three sides here, here, and here. Grab this file folder with the tap on the top. Here I do have tap on the bottom. And I'm gonna place it on that previous one. Again, I'm gonna match the bottoms. And glue it together. I'm gonna take last one with the top in the middle. Again, it's that harmonique. So you can either, you know, glue these middle, these middle top loaded pockets, you can glue them, you know, at the first separately on each of these folds or uh, same way as I'm doing it here. So glue these two together again, glue here, here. And here, place this one on the top, match the bottoms, and then don't forget that middle pocket, just open it, put the glue here, and on the bottom, and fold it down. That way you have created your, ah, yeah, it needs to dry. And I think I forgot to put, ah, I forgot, see? It will show you if you <laughs> forgot to put somewhere the glue, or I did put, but not too, too much. It needs to dry, so do not get the rush. But you will have one, two, three, four top loaded pockets, and you will have booklet like this with nice cascade, with many pockets like this, with beautiful openings. Then you just will take this base and of course uh, I would decorate everything first with papers. I will do my sewing and all kind of decorating, maybe some embossing. And after that, I will start to put these papers together. I'm just showing you how you will put the base together. So once you do have decorated everything, decorated pages here and glued them together in the book block, you're going to take this book block. And here it's good to create kind of like larger pocket, kind of like um, top and side loaded pocket. So you're going to put a glue just on the spine side here. And on the bottom and just try to imagine this is already decorated you're gonna glue it here between your score lines and here you just need to add some closure decorate it the way you like and you do have done beautiful decorated file folder journal. I hope this was inspirational. It's very easy to do and it's so much fun. And this cascade of pages, it's, it looks beautiful with, in so many styles. So I hope you will create your own file folder journal. And that was all for today. Thank you so much to all of you to stepping by and spending your time with me. 
Uh, have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.